Kawaiti! Ngayon po is, gagawa po ulit ako ng video for our Medellin Blue. Dahil po, yung sa previews, um, video, video ko po ng Medellin Blue is marami po nag-comment na medyo napalakas ko po yung background music. So, ito po para po sa inyo, ililimay ko po siya para po mas malinaw po sa lahat. Gusto niyo po ang samahan? Let's go! Methylene blue, also known as methylthioninium chloride, is a cationic dye, redox educator, and photosensitizer. In aquaculture, it serves as an antifungal and antiparasitic and has commonly been used to treat fish eggs to ensure they are not lost to fungal overgrowth. Methylene blue is an aquarium safe disinfectant and can also be used for the treatment of ammonia and nitrite poisoning. Uses of methylene blue in aquaculture Serum bladder disorder Infected fishes show a variety of symptoms such as they start sinking at the bottom of the aquarium, struggle in maintain their position, and stand on their head floating upside down. Their physical appearance can also be affected in certain ways like a curved back or swollen belly. Ick, also known as Ichthyopterius multifiliis. This disease is equivalent to a skin infection. Infected fishes started scratching against gravel and rocks and might become lethargic while reaching advanced states. Stress. Fishes often stress out due to many factors, especially when they get moved or the changes in the tanks can stress them very easily. Velvet. It is also known by the names gold dust disease. This is the most common disease in the tank or aquarium fish. It is caused by the parasites which can attack both the saltwater and freshwater fish. Ammonia poisoning. It takes place by the elevation of the tank's pH level and also affected the nitrogen cycle. Decomposing organic matters or tap water in the tank can lead to this poisoning while the absence of ammonia levels indicates the perfection of water conditions. Nitrate poisoning, also called brown blood disease. The level of methemoglobin builds up and results in an increase in nitrate poisoning. While different aquatic inhabitants have different tolerance level towards nitrate, but when it exceeds their level of tolerance, Fishes get sick and infected by the poisoning. Egg fungus. Its most common use in aquaculture is to protect the overgrowth of fungus and bacteria over eggs. The fungal overgrowth and harmful bacteria around eggs can lead the eggs lost in the aquarium, which might result in damaging the eggs. The sage instruction of methylene blue. 1 teaspoon for every 10 gallon aquarium and we need to change water about 25% every 3 to 5 days. So yung po mga kawaiti, um, kumuha po ako ng mga 4 questions na nandun po madalas sa tinatanong po dun sa previous video ko po ng method nito. So unahin po natin to si Derfrick Paul Kaga. So ang question niya po, Pwede po bang pagsabayin ang methylene blue and antichlorine? Pwede naman po mga kawaiti, pero ang ginagawa po namin, nag i po kami ng water.
Tapos, nilalagyan po namin siya ng aqua care. So, mga ilang days, andun lang po siya. Tapos, iyon po yung kinagamit namin na tubig para lagyan po ng methylene blue. Methylene blue. So, tingin ko po, mas much better po yun kung stock water ang, ang gagamitin nyo po. Tapos, lalo na pag pinatakan nyo pa po siya ng aqua care. So, much better po yun kesa pagsasabayin. Next question. Ito po ay mula naman po kay Black Panda. So, ang question niya po, pwede kaya directly ilagay ang methylene blue sa aquarium na may isda? Hindi naman po, pero much better kung uh, maglalagay po kayo ng methylene blue sa lagayan na may tubig. Then, doon niyo po haluin na mabuti para pag nilagay niyo po siya doon sa tank, um, is mag-spread po siya agad. Next is from Jason Dane Obando. So, ang question niya po, ano ang mangyayari sa isda kung napadami ang paglagay ng methylene blue? So, ito po. Uh, actually po, ang methylene blue kapag nasobrahan po yung paglagay natin is nakakapatay po siya ng good bacteria na nasa tank po natin. At isa pa po, kapag if ever na meron po tayong live plants dyan, is pwede na rin po siyang patayin po kapag nasobrahan. Ano? Pwede, ano, mamamatay po siya kapag nasobrahan po ng methylene blue. So, last question po is from Thinkers. Every 3 days po ba lalagyan ulit yung aquarium ng methylene blue? So, every water change po ang paglalagay ng methylene blue. Blue. Ngayon po, much better kung malala na po, yung, malala na po yung sakit ng ating fish is everyday water change po tayo ng 50% hanggang sa makita na po natin ang improvement na ating mga fish. So, yun lang po mga kawaiti. I hope nagustuhan nyo po yung another segment of methylene blue. And sorry po ulit sa mga um, na medyo na irita dahil sa medyo malakas po yung sound ko sa previous methylene blue ko. So, yun lang po ulit. Sobrang thank you sa lahat lahat ng sumasuporta sa aming channel. Yung mga nanonood. So, hindi po ako masasawang mag-share ng knowledge. And mga pwede pang tips and techniques sa inyo. So, yun po, um, ingat po kayo lahat. Always smile. And yung problema po is nandyan lang po yan. So, ang kailangan po natin ay mag-pray at magtiwala po kay Lord kasi hindi niya po tayo papabayaan. So, sa ngayon po sa pandemic na ito, um, ini, uh, I pray na ingatan po tayong lahat ng Papa Jesus at maging healthy po tayo, inyo po tayo ng mga vitamins na makakatulong po sa atin para tumakas po ang ating immune system. So, yun lang po mga kawaiti. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click nyo rin po yung bell button para updated po kayo sa aming videos. Salamat po, ingat lahat. God bless. Bye!